we have a, a large variety of students. We have about 21,000 students in Arlington Public Schools. Um, of those um, 21,000 students, it's a very diverse group. We have about 40, probably about 46 percent are white. Um, we have about 11 percent that are African American, and we have about 28 percent that are Hispanic, and we have about uh, 11 percent that are Asian. Um, and what we, a majority of our students do go on to um, four-year or two-year colleges. Um, and we have a large uh, percentage of our students, too, that are second language learners. In some of our schools, we have upwards of um, 100 different languages that are spoken. So we do have a very diverse population, but we really enjoy that diversity, and we think that really makes um, a very good um, environment for our students to learn. Some of the history that we had with the math and CTE with uh, Arlington Public Schools, um, a number of years ago, most probably about Five years ago, we um, started looking at um, integrating STEM education into our career and technical classes and in Arlington Public Schools. As we were doing that, we were able to get a grant um, through the Governor's Association to become a Governor's Career and Technical Academy. As we were looking through that, one of the, one of the things that we had to do with that grant is to integrate STEM. Um, I was a tech ed supervisor at that time. And I saw um, an opportunity um, at the, w um, through the Association of Career and Technical Education where they were offering the Jumpstart program to um, math and CTE. So um, I talked to my director at that time and I said, hey, this looks like a kind of an interesting program. And I remember seeing um, uh, Dr. Jim Stone present at the American Youth Policy Forum a few years before that talking about the program. And I thought, well, this might be a good way for us to take a look at um, and to see what it's about. So we formed two different teams uh, and we went to the Jumpstart program um, in, uh, in Charlotte at that time. And what I really noticed about it was the teachers that we took with us, um, as soon as we got going on it, they were really into it and they continued to stay into it. And I've never seen a staff development where teachers were so involved. And when I came back, I said, you know, this is really what we really need to do. The decision to pursue the math and CTE model was largely because of its alignment with the grant that we received from the state through the National Governors Association for our Governor's Career and Technical Academy. We also saw it as a wonderful way to do two things. One, increase the rigor in our career and technical education but also validate the role of career and technical education in the overall academic planning for any or all students in Arlington County. So in addition to a, sort of a rubber hits the road approach to implementing the, the important concepts of our grant, it also gave us this really wonderful opportunity to affirm all that we believed about career and technical education. How do you improve teaching? Too often we use short-term staff developments. The math and CTE is in it for the long run, and we're in it for the long run. Sustainable staff development is the only way you have sustainable change. We need sustainable change because too often we have a new project or a program and revert back into our single discipline approach. The reason that our district first really liked and latched on to math and CTE is because it got the teachers into a doing an active learning and a partnering mode as opposed to attending a workshop where you tend to have just a big notebook in front of you and spend most of your time listening. So sort of we kind of walked away and said, boy, the level of engagement and the level of partnering and activity was really impressive. So that's one of the real initial strengths of math and CTE. I think one of the, the dividends that you reap as you get into the training, into the months of working with it, is master teachers transfer the knowledge of how to teach through a math and CTE-like training. 
and it's very hard for teachers to change their practice when they're sort of off on their own in a classroom, not working uh, at this level of collaboration with other teachers. But as they walk into the math and CTE model, working at this deep level with other teachers, it starts to change their practice, and it starts to change their practice in a way that impacts student learning. I've participated in every single session, every single meeting day of uh, the math and CTE program to date. And it's been wonderful for me as someone who thinks of themselves as a practitioner scholar. We're always focused on student outcomes, but it's important to me to also consider the teacher outcomes. I want to see a transformation in our teachers. I want them to reinvest in their profession. I want to th them to think of themselves as professionals beginning right with the curriculum mapping component of the math and CTE model, I see a tremendous change in our teachers. I see them beginning to see the big picture. And then when they see their curricula mapped to other teachers' curricula, you begin to see them emerge as multidimensional people. I thought it was, I've been a teacher for 20 years, and I would say that the math and CTE um, it program was the best professional development I've experienced in those 20 years. Because Mr. Zawal and I actually uh, team teach during the year, we were we focused a little more on the math, I think, than 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 some of the other CTE uh, teachers did. But what I really liked was that it was a, a hands-on. Unlike so many other professional development experiences where you're you brought in, you sit, you listen, they tell you stuff, this was just the opposite. We actually did what you would, the, the, the folks from NCE modeled the very same things that we would want to do in the classroom. It was hands-on. We worked with our colleagues. We really got to internalize what we were being asked to learn, and we got to apply it, develop lessons that we could use in the classroom. I used to think about math in a purely theoretical way. Uh, I just enjoyed the processes of math and it didn't necessarily have to apply to anything. I, I just thought it was fun and I, I hope that my students would also enjoy that but I see that a lot of them really want to have real life connections made. They want to see you know, what, what's, what good is math in the real world, when will I ever use this? The age old question really rings true for our students. So. Uh, I, I began to think about uh, the, the connections that the CTE curriculum offers. There are just so many technical aspects that are, are linked to algebra and geometry concepts. And so I, I really began to appreciate the richness of the CTE curriculum for its mathematical content. So I think that's made me think about how math teachers can create lesson plans that integrate uh, more technical concepts. And now we have a vehicle to do that since we have this model where they're paired with someone who has the authority in that area. I volunteered last spring to join the cohort uh, for this year for the math CT lesson plans and the, my impression was that it was very worthwhile. Many teachers don't necessarily take it into account. Uh, my class, in particular the aviation class, involves lots of math, uh, mainly for weight and balance calculations, performance calculations, how do you navigate around the world with, without a computer. Uh, and so there's lots of math uh, involved in the uh, performance of being a private pilot. So I've used that for a long time. In the computer ed drafting class, uh, I also use a lot of math because we're doing scale models, we're doing uh, computations of how big things should be in relation to each other. Uh, have to ex take the uh, various drawings that we make and make sure that the right size to a precision of uh, about ten thousandth of an inch in some cases. And my engineering class, uh, where we do a lot of project-oriented uh, work, again, we are very uh, oriented towards employing math and science, employing math and science techniques. In my curriculum, I emphasize, as I said earlier, we emphasize a large portion of our baking and uh, and, and uh, uh, cooking program has to do with measurements. It's you couldn't cook without knowing the quantities that are in either a baking formula or a recipe for for. Uh, for an entree. So they learn right off that weights, uh, ounces, and we also do metric, that they learn metric also. Uh, they learn that when we're doing baking metric uh, measurements, weights are much easier to work with 
because they could be easily divided or multiplied because we do scaling of recipes, which obviously is a math function. Uh, they do measurements when we're cutting various size diameter pastries or pies. They learn about dimensions uh, in that manner. Um, they learn how to fabricate vegetables uh, in, in certain shapes. There's a, sh there's a shape, for instance, that they, you know one of my students described to me as a rhombus. <laughs> there's, there's, a, you know, there's a lot of math and science in the actual fabrication of, uh, of ingredients. And, uh, and that really is important for them to master. Our curriculum has specific science components that have been sent down to the state and approved by the state. So those are the science components that are automatically in our curriculum. The math comes from different aspects of typically the science curriculum, although some of them do come from the agricultural curriculum that we follow. My class, uh, we do genetics, so there is uh, fractions and probability within the genetics unit. All of the students weigh, uh, measure the animals as well, and we have them do that in both metric and the old system. Um, so there is some estimation involved as well. The students quickly figure out that the kilograms should be less than the pounds and approximately how much so they know that they have actually weighed them correctly. So much of electricity has math components in it. It is basically, it is mathematics derived. Uh, for electricians knowing the power formula and Ohm's law, the two basic laws that govern electricity are absolute necessities for the field. So in that regard, I've actually been teaching math since I've been teaching electricity. Some of the different um, changes that I've seen with our, with our teachers as they've gotten into it, um, I do see that, they, that um, they can really see the connections and they try to enhance those connections with the students on how the math is really an uh, integral part of it. Um, I see that the math teachers, um, when we first start working with them, um, they, they try to see where their connection and fit is. And I see that as they grow and as they've, and we've had a number of our math teachers that have done this numerous, numerous years, they start seeing the connections that they can make in their own classes as well. And they are very, very uh, supportive of our teachers and that is their component is to be the coach for our CTE teachers to make sure that they can make those math connections. Um, it's very interesting when we sit in, um, in our countywide meetings, and that's when we get all of our career and technical education teachers together, and we st start discussing math and CTE. And um, I really notice that this, the teachers that have gone through this math and CTE really have a deep understanding of how it works and how it can enhance a student's knowledge. Um, I don't see that in some of our other CTE teachers. They say, well, I already teach that, and I don't need to, maybe I don't need to go through the training. But I think once they go through the training, they really get a better feel for how this math, um, the connections that they can make, and the importance that they have in a student's um, um, learning math. Nearly all of the career and technical education teachers adopt the model very quickly. There are some who are a little resistant because they may or may not believe that we're adding something to their curriculum. However, they quickly realize that there is a lot of efficacy in this model. So they see both efficiency and effectiveness. And they begin to realize that by teaching differently, they're teaching deeper. There's more meaning in what they're teaching. There's more context in what they're teaching. And sometimes there's almost a new relationship between the teacher and the student. I was first asked to volunteer, well, I was volunteer, almost sounds like the word voluntold, um, asked to be a part of this. I wasn't sure, admittedly, I had no idea what I was going to get into because I knew I had math components in, my, in, in the electricity program, but I was assured that, you know, no, no, you're not going to be a math teacher. You're a, you're a career technical ed teacher, a CTE instructor, you know, and with a math component. Um, 
I came in, like I said, not knowing what to expect. I, I was fortunate, I felt fortunate because the math instructor with whom I was partnered is again in this building and I know him, he and I are good friends. And the partnership worked very well together and it, would, it gave me a level, level of comfort to make me much more comfortable to teach math, in, you know, to be able to enhance the math that I already taught. Well, it has changed. Um, it's changed. Um, I think um, I, I see CTE in the core content area as not being distinct. I see that an interdisciplinary approach to instruction, both in the CTE classroom and in the math classroom, provides a, a better outlook for our students. Our students need to be engaged. Our students need to have instruction that is relevant to them, something that is meaningful, something they can connect with. Using the math and CT model brings relevance and brings some meaningful character to, to, to the instructions. I think the seven elements is good. Uh, it's a good uh, format as far as, especially for somebody like me. It, it give, it, I never had a whole lot of, being new at teaching, I never had a whole lot of uh, experience creating lessons. So having this brought, uh, broken down into the seven steps, I was able to, um, it was able to guide me through the process a little easier. I thought that we had a great model for them. Um, the teachers came and they, they learned the seven elements of the lesson planning template. And I think that the teachers perceived that those elements were really in line with Arlington's philosophy of making learning meaningful. Um, the lesson elements start with an introductory hook and math teachers try to do that anyway or at least we encourage them to find some kind of problem solving or a real world interest type of situation to build the math around. So the CTE content provides that and the model begins with um, some kind of a hook for the students that's in the field of the CTE. So uh, I, I think that the, the teachers have really benefited from, from from that and I think that when they came to the professional development they recognized the value of that immediately and so I, I think it's been a great experience for them and just to learn how to how to go back and forth with someone and interrogate the curriculum so to speak of the CTE and and go back and say how does this apply to math it's been a very good analytical process for them and a great collaborative process for them because as we all know sometimes teachers teach in silos and even though we're having more professional development um, communities, uh, it's still a great opportunity for some math teachers who often work alone to partner with someone. Coming from an engineering background, I've always had the belief that uh, math and, 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 and CT were related. But to, to do it in an organized manner, I think that was facilitated by, with my, by my experience with the, with the whole CT, math and CT um, model. I think the seven elements, uh, a conscious use of the seven elements definitely should change the way any teacher think about mathematics and think about infusing things from the, uh, the, the CT area into their instruction. The partnerships that come out of math and CTE are career changers for the teachers. And I think there's a little bit of a uh, trick to finding good, pa good matches because you're going to find math teachers that are inclined towards one CTE area or another and there's chemistry between the pairs. But it's a career changer in the sense that these, these instructors become year-long and multi-year collaborators. And in the case of some of our teachers, they're now co-writing math books. Um, you know, that's the kind of level of engagement that you can get out of the project. Jeff Elkner and Isaac Swallow, uh, uh, an information technology teacher and a math teacher who have some shared students. They took the model one step further and they built an entire summer course based on full integration of pre-calculus and advanced topics in information technology. The students receive both college credit and high school credit and the outcomes were terrific. Uh, many of those students used that summer to jump ahead so that in their senior year of high school they could take an even higher level of math than they might have been able to otherwise, uh, but also receive those college credits. The CTE teacher and I, we, we've built such a relationship that uh, 
some people call us twins. <laughs> we, we work together so well. We, our, our collaboration has even extended beyond the map and CT thing. So we, we actually work on a day-to-day -day basis. We collaborate in a whole lot of areas. Uh, we plan lessons together. We, we, we plan other programs for our institution you know, together. We, 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 we attend conferences together. We make presentations together. My initial reaction to math and CT hence lessons was, uh, I guess, a little bit different from an ordinary teacher because of several reasons. Prominent among, amongst those reasons would be the fact that besides being a, a, a math teacher, I'm also an engineer. So I've always been fascinated by, you know, enriching my classroom with, uh, with uh, uh, experiences from the CTE area. But uh, the, the MAP and CTE model brought something different. It was an organized approach to infusing uh, uh, CTE concept in the math classroom, at the same time infusing math into the CTE uh, classroom, especially the use of the seven elements which was a noble idea to me. I'm also math certified, so I'm a math teacher and a, a CTE, I'm a computer science teacher. Um, so I don't know necessarily that I've, I've, I've had revelations about math, but what I did get out of this is that this is how math ought to be taught. What we tend to do, I mean, it's a shame what our math curriculum is so isolated from the real world. We, you, we give students a textbook, and, and uh, I went back afterwards and, and looked at one of the textbooks we use, and it starts out with, basically, here's a kind of problem. Now work, you know, 20 of these. No reason why, no context, no connecting math to, to anything beyond this uh, cr classroom, and, and in fact, our, our uh, our teacher in the, in the program mentioned how when, when years ago when she was asked, well, why do you take Algebra 1? And I don't know. It gets you ready for Algebra 2, <laughs> you know, was the best answer that she could come up with. And that's not what math is about. Math is a language that describes the world. It's connected to science. It's connected to automotive engineering. It's connected certainly to computer science. And to make those connections explicit is a wonderful thing to do. It, it, it will stop students from saying, why do I have to take this? I've really seen math teachers come to life who we didn't realize had any interest in any career in technical fields. And when presented with this opportunity, we had teachers step up from um, schools that, that we, we didn't realize that they would have any interest in, in this. And so we're delighted that um, some teachers are stepping forward who maybe haven't taken leadership in other areas and have found a, a niche, something that is an intellectual curiosity for them to see just how this partnership works out, how their concepts can enhance CTE. And a lot of our teachers have really demonstrated um, a, a service attitude towards helping those CTE teachers teach better math-enhanced lessons and lessons that are more mathematically, technically correct. So I've just been really proud of our, our teachers for, for recognizing that they have something to give and being willing to give it, being willing to invest that time. And then in return, um, they're also the type, the caliber of teacher who is able to see uh, how these real life applications can potentially influence uh, their class. Basically what I found with the math and CTE component that I was actually able to enhance my instruction because I looked upon it strictly as practical math and you have to know it, but the math and CT component taught me to, to enhance it and to tie it into what's done in the classroom so it becomes doubly relevant. They learn it in my class and they take what they've learned back in my class and see how it applies in theory so they've seen both practical and theoretical applications. Uh, the big, one of the biggest to me I guess the, I don't know if the word is gift or advantages in the math and CT program is it has actually made math much more friendly for my students and for me as well because now I don't, I look upon it as an opportunity to, to really expand their, their, their math instruction and that wouldn't have been possible without the component of being partnered with an actual math instructor and I think that's been a big, big plus. They can see the math easier in, in, in our curriculum. It's, it's hard sometimes for us to see the math. We've been doing it, you know, I've been reading a micrometer, been working with place values for a long time. <clears throat> but 
I didn't realize what I was doing because I'm doing it in, in the automotive area and I haven't been doing it in the math area. Um, so for them to look at what we're doing and this, they can see the math much easier. And, and so they can say, well, that's math right there and that's math over here. And we just got to figure out, you know, how we want to bring that out. So it was so much easier. I don't think I'd have been able to do it, um, create, you know, to do the uh, lessons without the math teacher. Students get excited about the math and CTE because we always relate it to some type of project rather than just simulating and rather just using theory. The actual hands-on of using mathematics while building the roof pitch of a house is pretty exciting for our students, but all the mathematics would go with that aren't so exciting. But when the house is built and the students go in it, they know I built the house at the right height so now I can walk in it properly and the pitch is correct those things are excited about those students are excited about the math we're just starting to look uh, and get more into that and try to see where our students are and how this is helping our students I can see though that um, as I talk to the teachers and how the teachers are saying that the students are um, getting getting the math um, one of our, um, our our electricity teacher told us uh, told me just the other day that his students are really uh, kind of excited about getting and seeing how these um, this math connects to their electricity because he has to do uh, voltage and amperage and things like that. It's something that they're doing in their everyday life. But he said since he's gone through the math and CTE and since he's integrated a little bit more, the students are much more willing uh, and able to do the work that they need to do. Um, and that's been a very a bonus for him. And I think that's uh, just kind of what we see in, in all the other classes as well, is it does enhance what they're doing. The students have a better understanding, and they're, they're, not, um, they're not shying away from the math, but they're actually embracing it. They love it. I mean, the, we, 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 uh, I, I know the students are delighted. At first, they were noticing that, that um, Mr. Zoalo and I were communicating on a regular basis. We're actually even working with the English teacher as well, so we're bringing math English and IT together and the fact that we're able to work with the students in an interdisciplinary way makes me learning in any one of our classes more meaningful because it's going to be something that they're going to use in each of the other classes. Mr. Zawalo has told me on numerous occasions because this is the the second year now that we've been doing this that he could tell because in his math class last year he had some students who were in the, the interdisciplinary program and some who were not. And he said he could tell a, that there was a marked difference in their ability to do things like the very lesson that we're going to be demonstrating today, that, to understand the coordinate plane and to develop an intuition about the x-axis and the y-axis and how coordinates work. Being able to teach it with a program like Scratch makes it so much easier for students to learn. And so there's been a, a noticeable improvement in student understanding of that particular concept. First the students, they were like, oh gee, Miss Peek must have taken another class, now she's <laughs> trying it out on us. But um, they began to embrace it because uh, they realized that a lot of the math that is, that is in some of the lessons is what they already have in their high school. So um, it wasn't like a big jump. It was, you know, they saw the, a, a relationship. They're going to get a better prepared student. And some of these math skills are essential in CTE. They're not optional. And if you mess up the calculation, we have a great example in our construction trades. We actually lost a competition because the child did not calculate the slope of the roof correctly, though built the roof correctly. Once you get through a math and CT preparation as a teacher and you transfer that to the students, the math and CT model, they become rock solid on those math skills. And I, I think from that there's not only a confidence that they have, but a level of professionalism that the workplace just requires. The students from Carpentry, for example, told me that uh, they were amazed by the level of math they needed to know to be able to do Carpentry. One of the students from the culinary arts department was amazed to understand that recipes was just basically ratios and proportions. Um, the students in Autotech also shared their experiences uh, with uh, the, the, the calculating pressure depending on the folds and the areas. 
So it, the, the students are really seeing the connection between them, and they come to us with stories about uh, the connectedness of the, the, the different disciplines. Overall, find how, and I guess having taught elementary school before, I see the light bulb coming on in their eyes when they see how the math they've been learning in their algebra class or the yeah, algebra part one, part two, how that is applied in my class. And it's an, one of those aha moments that's just wonderful to see. Plus, the math instructor with whom I was partnered found some great internet applications that really made math a lot of fun for my students. So they actually look forward to doing the math more where before in the past they it would be uh, oh no we have to do this now it's okay I can do this you know and it's a nice it's just a nice nice benefit of the math and CTE where my students are confident and are willing to step forward to do the math because they have the confidence because the math and CTE program showed them showed me how to teach them how to break it down and how to show different applications. We have done math throughout the year, throughout the school year, and um, we first began with history, so not much math there, but we slowly got into the, how the wind uh, lifts the airplane, and there's math involved through Bernoulli's principle, and um, we use the equations to solve how much lift an, uh, a wing has on an airplane and uh, such. And we also did some trigonometry to figure out some angles, um, angle of attack, angle of uh, descent. And we have also done, in for weather, we have done the dew point and um, how it's calculated. And there are formulas you have to memorize for the FAA test. Math is, to me, math is all practice. And as long as you get more practice, you get better at it. So here we get to practice m math and learn many other things. So it's a great way to uh, get to know your math more. For districts that are looking for not just a good academic technical integration professional development, but a good professional development in general that can be a template for a lot of professional development, I think you'd have a hard time beating the math and CTE model. It is a tremendous professional development experience for your faculty. If a school district is thinking not only of improving their CTE instruction, but moving their academic instruction from siloed theoretical instruction to applied team-oriented instruction, I think math and CTE is the best model I know of. I would encourage other districts to review the model very thoroughly and then also to read the background supporting research. Then consider their student population, their participating teachers, and then talk with their coach from the Math and CTE program about how to best implement the model. In the first year, I would encourage participating districts to implement the model as close to prescribed as feasible or possible. But throughout, survey your participants. Talk to them, get their feedback, figure out what's working, what's easy, what's difficult. Um, use online collaboration tools. We use Google Documents, Google Spreadsheets, Google Presentations, and others very uh, comprehensively in, in our implementation, as well as some online scheduling tools. We use those data to sit back as, as a working team and think about what we might do next year, what we might tweak, change to improve it. I say go for it. It's a wonderful experience. Um, I think there's just so much uh, that the teachers can get from it. I think there's so much instilled for the students. And even outside of just what CTE and um, the math and CTE model provides. It provides an, an opportunity for teachers to collaborate, which is most often absent uh, in high schools. Teachers don't necessarily have that level of collaboration that they would have at elementary school level or at a middle school level. So I think it's a wonderful thing to do. Uh, some of the advice that I would have is, um, I think the one thing that was, was good was is to get 
teachers involved early. Um, get them involved and see how it works and see how it can benefit them. Um, I think that's a key um, because you have to have their support to be able to move it forward. Um, I would also say that, um, that the math and CTE group does a great job. The facilitators do a wonderful job of coming in. Um, and I would say make sure that the, the, student, the, the teachers that you pick to help you implement this are, um, are very energetic and excited about the process and are really interested in doing it. Other teachers at other schools should be delighted to get into, the into math and CTE and I would love to see math CTE expand into science CTE also because I believe that they are, if we're going to take and create a student for the 21st century who's able to handle the technological changes that are going to be required, then they need to understand both math and science as well as the hands-on. Don't be afraid of it. <laughs> if I can do it, I know anybody can do it because, I mean, like I said, I struggled. I struggled terribly with math and other subjects. I was one of those kids kind of like ones that I have in my class. <clears throat> I, I didn't do well in high school, I didn't really like high school, um, and I found automotive and it, it was, uh, you know, it was something I was interested in because I was interested in it. I did well, I did well in it and I found my niche, I found what I wanted to do. So I just continued on with it. Oh, if they have the opportunity, do it. I mean, as I, as I said earlier, it's the best professional development I've experienced in 20 years of teaching. I'm so glad I had the opportunity to participate, and I'll continue to learn and benefit from that experience going ahead, because Mr. Zawal and I both got to participate, and we are now building on what we learned as, as we grow as educators. The future of the Arlington Public Schools and the Arlington Career Center is partnering with Northern Virginia Community College to ensure our students can apply their academics, particularly math, in the areas of career and technical education. It continues to be important for us all to understand the math concepts and for us to have a common language. The Career Center is focused on helping the community college help our students to better apply their academics, especially our math in their college programs. The future is bright. Our students are getting college credit while they're in high school through dual enrollment, but we're focusing on the mathematics and our CTE and everything we're doing. One of the things that, um, that came about um, from the math and CTE, which was really surprising for me, is we, I, I typically, um, administrators have once a month we all get together um, for the morning and we go through things in our district and one of the principals from the middle school came up to me and said you'll never believe what I've seen in the in the math class um, I had a, one of my Hilt math teachers did an excellent lesson with the technology teacher and they really the students were helping each other and they were really they really knew what was going on with the math and there was really it, it was really an applied lesson and I couldn't, I was kind of trying to think, well, gee, we didn't have a, we didn't have the math and CTE with a tech ed teacher. And what I, and as, and as I thought about it later, um, the, the math teacher that we had in math and CTE was from the middle school. And she taught the English second learn, language learners um, math. And she was having a problem with the students understanding how to put their decimals in the right position um, when they're adding and subtracting. So she went to our technology education teacher and asked about if he could teach them how to use micrometers so that they could get the decimals in the right spots and they could see why they needed it as they were measuring different objects. So the technology education teacher then had his eighth grade students help the students learn how to measure and also how to do the math. So it was a very integrated lesson and this was something that came about actually from, from the math teacher. And that's a, you know, a, an un, unintended outcome that we found um, that was really exciting. And I, I tell you, it, I couldn't advertise math and CT anymore than this principal coming up to me and saying what a great job it was and what a wonderful lesson it was and how these two teachers work together. My job as a STEM education specialist is to develop and implement integrative curricula, largely through project-based learning and problem-based learning, wherever I see opportunities. So you can imagine the math and CTE model is a very comfortable fit for me. I think it could be for any school district. 
I think if you are looking at authentic assessments, teaching for meaning, and truly transformative experiences for both teachers and students, it's a wonderful process and, and worth every minute invested in planning and implementation. As an administrator, the a real thing we can brag about in the Arlington District is the faculty who have participated in Mass CTE have won some of the top awards in the state and also the top national awards for K through 12 teachers. And I think math and CT has been a crucial part of that portfolio. Zero doubt about it. So I, I think that, you know, as, as faculty think about their professional development that's going to make them as excellent as they can be, I think math and CTE can be a really vital part of that portfolio, and I think the state and national awards are proof of it. Oh, I, I've been a passionate believer in integrative teaching for the longest time, so I was delighted right from the beginning. I, I, I just got excited. Wow, a chance to see mathematics in the content area, in context, to make it real. We should do a lot more of that in, you know, in the classroom with students, and it would be effective both in helping students learn math and in making their CTE courses uh, a vehicle for, for building skills.